Okay, I'm going to show you the best way of checking where the problem is if your GFI is tripping, it just won't stay on. Okay, so these are the, the, the things you should do the check. So, the first thing you're going to do if it's tripping, make sure the breaker is all the way off. Um, it's good to have two people because you can disconnect this a little faster instead of running back and forth. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to disconnect the heater element. So whatever style you have, but for this style, it's the two two bolts on the on the heat tube. So disconnect this, move the wires out of the way. Make sure it's not touching anything. If you have to put something on it, or just it's just you know just make sure it's not touching anything. So take the two uh, leads off your element, turn it back on. If it trips, keep these leads off. Okay, these are the steps we're going to show here. So if it trips, go to the next thing. That's more than likely the problem. You go to your ozonator. Disconnect your ozonator if you have an ozonator. Disconnect your ozonator. If it's not your ozonator, if it keeps on tripping with that unplugged, if it trips, go to the next one. Keep that unplugged. Go to the next one, which would probably be a blower if you have a blower. These are the most common ones first. So check your blower. Unplug that. Try the breaker, and you just keep on going. And keep on unplugging everything, everything, everything. And then you'll get to a point where it stays on, okay? Now, if it doesn't, if you disconnect everything, like all the plugs, all the pumps, everything, and the only thing that's left is the power coming in from, from the breaker, now, more than likely, it's not anything in your pack. So you start, you disconnect all these here. So if you just can disconnect the red, or even if, you know what, disconnect all of them, okay, except the ground. So disconnect here. If you disconnect it out and you go turn the breaker on, and if it trips, it's the breaker. Now, it we find a lot of um, if it's brand new tubs, somebody just wired it up. Um, it's going to be wired wrong. The GFI is going to be wired wrong. Now I do have a link button down below for wiring up. Um, I don't personally wire it. You should get an electrician to do it. Now. The visually what it should look like I have a link I'll put a link down below I have another video on that um, so visually you can see the, the the wiring where it should be okay now if this helped you out there's links all down below so if it's the pump um, uh, we have a you know another video on that so each thing that's it if it stays on that's your problem okay if you've just unplugged it and it stays on that's the problem Okay, and then we should have some videos down below that you can link to uh, the issues you might have. It's the heat tube, change the heater element. We'll have a video on that. Um, and the, the GFI, the proper wiring for it, but you should get an electrician to do it if there's an issue. Um, there's a link for that. Uh, the ozonator, uh, there's no video on that because usually it's a 120 volt and, and um, usually they're compact and there's really not too much. You just, there's so many different ones. Just get a new one. Um, or just, you know what, you don't even need an ozonator. I'd say in 20 years, I think one person wanted an ozonator. As long as you balance your water right, you're, you're good to go. Okay? Now, if there's other uh, issues that your tub has that's not covered here, just send me a, a comment. Um, and hopefully uh, we can determine what it is. Because uh, it also could be, you know, a board issue and stuff like that. But I'm just showing you the most common things. Because if you follow these steps, it's going to be one of them. Okay? So if you liked the video, thumbs up. Subscribe. we got lots of videos going um, all the time. And we'll see you on the next one.